G'day, I'm Mark. You're watching Art with Mark. I paint because I can't cook. G'day, Chris. Man, bit of a row for you. Yeah, the old motor pack up, did it? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, you're ready to do a bit of painting, eh? <laughs> never been able to in my life. You never been able to, eh? So you're one of these people that think you can't paint? I can paint the bathroom. Paint the bathroom. Yep. Okay, yeah, well that's pretty common. Yep. That's what I get all the time. I want to teach you how to paint today. And, but what I need to do, if we come over here, what, what we actually need to do is change a few beliefs. Uh -huh. Number one is that you, you, you can paint. And how I do that is I actually use a free step program. So what I'll do is I'll draw a cube. Just a normal cube, so it's just a box, like that. Another box, and we'll join up the corners. And then I'm going to get you to look at this, and this is my first stage of teaching people to paint because I'm going to change your belief about you can paint. Uh -huh. So you look at that cube, and as you look at it, it'll flip back again. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens to everybody. Some people it takes a bit longer, but it actually happens. So what that actually does is it's, it's what they call an optical illusion, but it's picked up on the right side of your brain where you paint from, where your art comes from, uh -huh. where, you, where your imagination and your um, music, all rhythm, everything like that is from the right side of your brain. Right, Chris, this is our big moment. Uh -huh. It's the blank canvas, eh? The black canvas, eh? And the pencil. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, we don't need to put too many lines in this, but, you know, you've never done any drawing or painting before, have you? No. Okay, this is really exciting then. Yeah, really I've exciting. I've taught a lot of people the, the um, drawing. The, the whole principle of it is you've got to start somewhere, yep. obviously, and I always start on the hor horizontal line, the horizon yep. line. It gives us a, sort of a um, place to start. So that's where the sea is. Yeah, where the, the sea is. is. Yep. And also, it can come down a bit with the, the land. Yep. So you start over here on the right, you go across, it, it, you can actually run your hand right across, it's almost like a straight line right across. And that's back down here to the beach over there. Yeah, yep. yeah. We're going to start off, say, we'll go about halfway. Yep. Just a straight line, right across. We add another colour, which I think we'll use this brown, this, this very light, light brown here. And I think we'll just do, we won't do this one, we'll put green on this later, we'll do this one, this hill here, this yeah, middle hill. Yeah. And we'll just put a bit of that on, like this. And we won't use a lot of water, we'll just move this around a bit. We'll go down there like that, like that. So really, this really is a medium you can practice with, can't you? Oh, yeah. it's a great yeah. medium it's to not, practice not with. Not is it? Not at all. Not, a, not all. I'll tell you what, a lot of people that do acrylic and oil, they don't like watercolours because it's actually, it's, it's a, a medium that you can't control. Yeah, it's a bit yeah, wild yeah, yeah. because it just moves around, but if you can learn to move with that, it's fantastic. That's great. Yep. That's good. Oh. Fantastic. That's great. Now, look at this. I mean, we're, we've been here 20 minutes painting. <laughs> it's much, much better than I ever thought it would be. Fantastic. Yeah. So do you think you can paint now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Yeah, with some instruction. And I think, you know, the other thing is next is, is practice, practice, practice. That's yeah. it. Practice, practice, practice. Maybe buy a book. Exactly. Yeah. Join a class. Yep. Whatever.